If your live streams are there's lag, get away. And there's very little interaction with your viewers. Chances are that your live stream software isn't up to scratch and it's killing your computer. So if you wanna have super fast live streams that look great and have much more interaction with your wonderful live stream viewers, then StreamYard is here to help. In this video, I'm gonna give you the complete guide on how to set up StreamYard, get your live streams streaming to the world. Whether that's on YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook, or if you want to multi-stream to YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, LinkedIn, and a host of other platforms all at the same time. And if you have proven strategies to grow your live streams, then make sure to stick with me all the way to the end as I give you a bonus to grow your streams. So let's jump in. Okay, to get your StreamYard account, simply click the link in the description below. Click on the Get Started link, and then just pop in your email address, click on Get Login Code, and it will send you a code. Once you've logged in, you have a very simple interface. On the left-hand side, you have Broadcasts, which is where you will set up your live streams, which will come to a minute. You will have Videos here, which is where you have the recordings of your previous live streams. Destinations is where you can send your live streams. And members is where you can add team members in there to produce your shows. So to set up your live stream, we're just gonna click on the create button here. So you have two options. One is to live stream itself, or you can actually stream a recording that you've done before. So we're gonna select live stream. And then you have your destinations here. Now, if you don't have any destinations, you simply can click on the plus button here, select whether you want to go to a Facebook page, group, profile, LinkedIn page or profile, YouTube channel, Twitter, Twitch, hop in, or you can pop in a custom or TMP link in there, and that will connect to whatever platform you want. So select whichever one you want, then log into the account and then that will appear here. So I'm going to select my test account here, which is David Walsh Consulting. And so I pop in the title of my live stream. Okay, I can pop in my description. Now under privacy, this allows me to select whether I want public, unlisted or private. So if you're familiar with YouTube, you'll know that uh, I can have it unlisted, then anyone can see it as long as they have the link or if they are private, then I have to add them manually to the live stream with their email address so that they can view the video. So I'm going to select unlisted. Now I can go live right now and then click on create broadcast and it will go. Or if I want to schedule, which is a much better option and a much better strategy to get more views on your live streams. And speaking of better strategies to get more views, if you want to get more views and grow your live streams, then make sure to stick with me all the way to the end as I give you the proven strategies to do so. And if I'm going to schedule my live stream, I want to upload a thumbnail image. Here's one I made earlier for one of our VidGrow shows. I can add that there. I can resize it if I want. If I need to, I can rotate, click on apply, and then I can select the date that I want to go live. So I can select, say, the 23rd, and let's just make it 6 p.m. Click on create, and now that's connecting to YouTube. It's setting that up, and there we go. We were all set up on YouTube. It's scheduled to go out on the 23rd at 6 p.m. Now, if I click on the three dots here, I have the ability to invite guests so I can bring people onto my show and use that link there. If I, I can send that link out to people, then when they click that link, it will allow them to come and join my show and I can add them on. I can have up to 10 people on screen at once. Now, you can invite more, but you can only have 10 on the screen at any one time. Other options are I can edit this if I want to change the time, if I want to change my thumbnail or description, anything like that, then I can view on YouTube as well. So I'm going to go over there. Yep, that's fine. So there we can see there is my stream that is scheduled to go out live. So to go into the studio, we obviously click on enter studio. So we have our settings here and you can see my mic is on. So I can select whichever mic I want. Click on settings here. 
And under audio, I have my selection of mics. So I'm going to select this one there. This is my Shure. Under camera, I have a number of cameras here. So I can select my FaceTime here. So you should see me now in a minute. There you go. Hello. So you can see there and I can add a virtual background if I want to. I've also can select 1080p if I want to. If you're on the free one, you're probably only be on the 720. You also have the option for hotkeys if you want to. You can add guests on there. And you also have the uh, option to select local recording now on StreamYard. So select that one on. Yep. So when you bring on guests, they can record their audio and their video on their side of things. So if there is a break in the internet connection, say you're doing an interview, then the recording will be on their side. So there is no loss of video or audio because it's on their side. The internet connection doesn't make much of a difference. And the same on your side, you'll have an, a recording on your side. So you can then get both files and I'll show you that in a minute. So you can take both files and then edit them afterwards. So let's select that, we've got that. So that is our uh, setup. So you can pop in your name. So whatever name you want, I'm just gonna leave it mine for now and then click on enter studio. So now we are in the studio. You'll see I'm down here. Now to add me, I just click on add two streams. There I am again, hello. So I have different options that I can add in here. If I have a, a guest, I can have them uh, cropped layout. I can have them side by side like that. I can also have a spotlight layout. So I can have one person here and another one there. And then we can have the news layout so I can bring up a video and then I can have myself on the side or if I have a multiple and then I can have picture in picture or I can just have this cinema layout like that. So when somebody comes in, you'll see them pop in here. We'll do that in a different video uh, some other time. So to mute yourself, obviously click on mute. I can stop camera as well. So that will bring up my icon, which you can set in your settings. Under present, I can add uh, I can take some slides so I can take slides from Google uh, slides or I can add a key note or a PowerPoint presentation there. I can also add an extra camera. So if I wanted to do an overhead shot, I could do that there. So I can select another cam there. So I've got my camera here. Hello, that's me on that camera there and I can add that. And you can see there that I can switch between them so I can do my crop that so I prefer to center myself better then I can add myself in that way and I can then move that over like so um, if we had a presentation I can add that there so you get what we see there so you'll see exactly how that works so I can remove myself like that and then it's back to me and my webcam the other thing as well is that you can add video files here so if I have a video file that I want to play then I can add upload that to my video and then I can play that in this setting here. As I've seen earlier, you can add in people to your live stream. Just give them this link and you can have up to 10 people there. And if you have any guests that you want to just get rid of, you just click on stop camera and they're gone. So if we want to go over to the right hand side and what these mean here. So in our comments, this is the comments that are going to be on our video. So if we go over to our scheduled video here and add something there, we can add in a comment and then it will pop up here. So if you have multiple platforms, then you will see multiple links down here and you can reply to all of them at once or you can apply to individual platforms, whatever you want. Now, if you've got a lot of comments coming in, you can star them and then it will pop them in here. So these are the ones that are highlighted that you may want to come back later because you'll have lots of comments coming in here and you might just want to highlight a few that you come back to in a minute. And if you want the hundreds, if not thousands of viewers on your live streams every single time you go live and the thousands and thousands of comments that come with it, make sure to stick with me all the way to the end as I give you the proven strategies to grow your live streams. Now, if you want to show any comment on the screen, click on show and then that pops up right there. So that is how you can get some great interaction on your live streams with this feature. If we just take this off, we can hide. So that's how you would show and hide. Very simple. 
So with banners, you can add banners to your live stream. So these are lower thirds. So we can add more in here. So create a banner. So to create a banner, click on create a banner. And then you can select from the different ones that you've got. It's like, hello there. Uh, we can have this scroll across the bottom if we want, and that becomes a ticker. Click on that. And if we show that, you'll see that this then scrolls across the bottom of our screen. So I can also have my name pop up there. I could also have a call to action, something like that. And the look and feel of this, we will come to under brand in a minute. So you can have two different types of banners. You have a lower third call to action, or you can have a scrolling one there. So let's just hide these like so. So to set your branding, go to brand here. So I've selected my color. You can select any color that you like, any color under the rainbow. So if I wanted that instead, I can pop that there. Or if you have a six thicker hex code, you can do that. So mine is CC12340, like so. And I have four types of themes. One is the bubble. Then we have classic, then we have minimal, and then we have block. So if we select bubble, go back to our banners, show my name, there we go like that. Go back to brand, I can select classic. That's what that looks like. I have minimal, and then I have my block. So you can then just create your banner and then see which one you prefer out of these. And then you can play around with your color here as well. Now you can also pop in the name if you want as well. So if I take this off, it'll show my name down there. So if you want to have that for your guests, then you can have that there. So it, as it says, don't want your name to appear in the bottom of the screen, feel free to hide it. So you can just hide that like so. You can add logos. So you obviously get the StreamYard one and you will have this on your free account. If you want to remove it, simply just get one of the paid subscriptions. And to get the best price for a subscription for StreamYard, make sure to click the link in the description below. To add the logo of my own, I click on upload logo and then select the image and it uploads there. I have also overlays as well. So if I have a PNG transparent image, then I can upload that. So that's 1280 by 720. Simply click on add overlay and then that will go up there. Now I can add clips as well. So if I wanted to have a countdown clip like so, I can add my clip there. Now the these clips need to be less than 10 minutes and under 200 megs. To add it, I simply click on add clip, upload my video, and then that will appear here. And then I can show this or hide it as I want. Now this is a great feature here. I use this on my live streams. Can just remove this. Uh, I use this on my live streams so that I give people a 30 second notice to hop on the live stream. And then I can then delete that in the YouTube editor on my video afterwards so that people don't have to sit through 30 seconds of a countdown. I can add a background as well. If I want to, I can upload my background there, which is good when you have multiple people on your show and you want to have a nice looking background for there. You also have the option to add some nice music if you want. So this is the music that will play in the background. So if you want to create a nice sense on your live stream, you can do so. Select any of these and they will play for you. Now, if we select private chat here, this is the chat that will go out to your guests in the green room for your live stream. So I can pop this in here, Mike. So I could send a message to Mike, say his camera's not working properly, and then he can adjust that before he goes on live. To go live, simply click on the go live up here on the top, and then you'll start streaming to your platform. Now, once you are done, your video will appear in the videos tab here. So you can see here are ones I've done before. Here's a tester I did. So I can download these if I go in here and you'll see there is my countdown. So I can download my video. I can download my audio. 
And when I have multiple guests, I will have separate video and separate audio for them. When we select the local video option, you do have the ability to trim this. Click on trim here. And then I can, as I said earlier, I would remove the uh, that bit there so I can trim off my countdown. Go to a point where I'm looking at the camera right there. Then I can select that there and then I can save as a new video. Then give it a name and then save it. So you can even do quick edits in here and then download that video to your hard drive or upload it to YouTube as a separate video. Where are you going to stream first? And what are you going to stream? Let me know in the comments area below as I'd love to know what platform you're streaming on and what you're streaming. Now I promise you a bonus to help you grow your live streams. Those tips and strategies are on this video right here.